Well, animals around here are having a hard time coping with the harsh winter too. Lori Bankson joins us live from the Bay Beach Wildlife Sanctuary with the details. And Lori, good morning to you. Good morning, Emily. Let's talk about um, what the issue is out there right now. You know, it's been a great winter for the Great Lakes because we're getting a lot of ice, we're getting a lot of water, but it's a hard winter for ducks that are usually divers that have to eat under the ice, just like this golden eye. You know, this is a bird that can handle the, the weather, the cold temperatures, but he needs to get into the water to be able to eat. They're called diving ducks. And that's been a huge increase of animals that we've seen here at the Wildlife Sanctuary this winter. And what else are you seeing out there? You know, and we have here on exhibit, these are a couple of mergansers. We have a red-breasted merganser and a common merganser. And another challenge coming in is that these guys are thin, um, but they're used to eating fish that they're catching under the ice. But then if they stay dry too long, they have a hard time staying waterproof. So um, we're seeing a lot of these guys. We're seeing a lot of mallards, geese. Um, we even have some pelicans that we have to overwinter to make sure that they gain enough weight and that they're also ready that once mm. that ice is open, we can get them all back outside, back to the wild. And Lori, I know you were mentioning, this is usually kind of a quiet time for you out there. Is that right? Yeah, you know, this is usually a time that we're scrubbing cages and we're getting supplies put together, but we are full. And that's really in part to the vigilant public that we have here in the area. They're finding wildlife in need, whether they're in snow banks or on the ice, or just some place that they can safely get the wildlife to us so we can help them out, get them back into the wild where they belong. Are there any tips for people if they do encounter an animal or something happens? What do you have to say to them? You know, make sure that you're safe first. Don't go on any ice that may be thin. Don't put yourself in a dangerous situation. We have really great animal control officers, really great volunteers that may be able to go out, give you a hand. But if you do encounter an animal in your yard or on the side of the road, wrap them up in a towel or a blanket. Get them someplace secure. You can give us a call. We're open every day. And you also want to make sure that that animal doesn't go to an extreme temperature. So don't take an animal that's been freezing outside and put them in an 80 degree incubator. You know, put them in the garage, get them stabilized. If you want to give them a little bit of warm water, you can, but don't worry about feeding them. These guys have very specific diets and we don't want to harm them any more than, or stress them out any more than they might be right now. Lori, some great information. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thanks a lot.